In this video, we will go over the process of setting up line cross checking for Samba Illuminati. With line cross checking, you can draw a virtual line from the camera view and the camera will follow any objects that crosses a virtual line. This application is very popular at front engines. I will be covering the basic steps of setup as well as tips for reducing false alarm. First, let's go to configuration and on the left hand side, there will be a list of menu that you can select from. We go to PTZ first and then choose smart checking. Make sure it's enabled and you've set up the appropriate duration and sensitivity. For the duration parameter, the default value is 60 seconds, meaning the camera will stop checking when the duration time is up and it will return to the pre-configured position until the next checking event. Then let's go to events and choose smart events. Please use your mouse to click and drag to change the shape of the line. Here, we will be putting the line across the front gate. You can set the trigger direction and also the sensitivity. Note, there is a sensitivity bar that you can set up under PTZ Smart Checking that we've seen earlier. That is the correct place to set up sensitivity. And the optimum value varies a lot between different scenes. For example, if you want to check any vehicles crossing the gate, then you might want to make it less sensitive in order to reduce any chances of checking smaller objects that could also cross a line. Overall, in our test experiences, smaller sensitivity works better, especially to reduce false triggers at night. There are also a few tips of drawing the virtual lines. I'll bring that up later with examples. Okay, once we finish drawing, let's set preset 51, which is a special preset corresponds to the line cross checking. We have to first set this preset to memorize this camera view. Then we hit the call button. And as soon as we do that, you see on the upper left corner, there'll be a prompt saying line cross checking, meaning it has been activated. Now, if you want to see the virtual line at the live view page, you have to go to local and enable the rules. Now we see the virtual line here, and this is actually not a great line. Why? Because rule number one is, please only draw the virtual line on static backgrounds. Here we've drawn a line on the gate. So the first object that will be entering the virtual line will be the gate. So imagine if someone opened the door from this view, the first object that will be entering the virtual line will be the gate, instead of any intruder. See. The gate is triggering the checking instead of human objects, so it is better to move the line forward or backward a little bit to put the line only on static backgrounds. When people push the gate, the gate is moving. In our video demo, the intruder didn't open the front gate and instead he crosses a static fence, so that's why the camera is checking the correct object. However, please remember to draw the optimized line to reduce any negative elements. In the end of setup, do not forget to add preset 51 into park actions. This is necessary because this ensures that the camera always returns to line cross-checking mode after a set amount of time.